Hello everyone. Welcome to the next class on the distribution function. Today we will see what is the relationship between the normal distribution and the gamma distribution. And that's a very important class for this um, competition point of view and the very important relation between them. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. What we have discussed in the last class that what is the gamma distribution? And we have seen that there are the two kinds of the gamma distribution. The first kind is called as the standard gamma distribution because in order to find the relation between the gamma and normal, you must know that what is the gamma distribution firstly. And this, there is only one parameter that is called as the alpha. This is called as the shape parameter is there. On the other hand, this is the second kind that is called as the two parameter gamma distribution. Why we call as the two parameters, two parameter gamma distribution? Because it involves the two unknown parameters alpha and beta. And the property of this alpha and beta is it's the shape parameters and beta is called as the scale parameters and the respective PDFs are here. You can also analyze that what will happen if I substitute beta is 1 in this PDF. It is nothing but my standard gamma distribution. It means all the results once we obtain for the two parameters, if I substitute beta is 1, then it becomes the gamma distribution. So look at that. If beta is 1, then it becomes a standard gamma distribution. And there are the many special cases followed by the gamma distribution are there. If in this PDF, if we substitute alpha as a 1 and beta as a lambda, then the gamma distribution reduces to the exponential distribution. Or you can say the exponential distribution is a special case of the gamma distribution. So that's why gamma distribution has a special importance. Apart from the exponential distribution, this is the Elang distribution, chi-square distribution also has a special case of the gamma distribution. What is the meaning of the Elang distribution is? In this case, what is the meaning of this alpha is, is a positive number. It can be the any of the real number. But if I restrict alpha as a positive integers only for the integers, then this distribution is called as the Elang distribution. Similarly, for the chi distribution, if we replace them here. Now, what is the today's lecture is that if it means if I if we have x follows the normal distribution, then the z square by 2. What is the meaning of the z is? Z is nothing but the standard normal variate in the normal distribution. So this is the standard normal variate. So you have to prove that if x follows the normal distribution, then this z square by 2 follows the no gamma distribution with parameter is half. This alpha is my half. We all know that the notation for this gamma is here. X follows the gamma distribution with parameter alpha. So the proof is quite very simple. So look at that. If x follows the normal distribution, then find the PDF of this. So remember that this is some simple case. You have to find the PDF of this. While uh, you may practice that this instead of this the relation between the u and z. Instead of this, you may drive the relation between z plus 2. You may derive the relation between here. You may calculate the relation between this, u and this and so on. So what is the technique behind that? So in order to find the relation between u and z, since my task is to find the PDF of u, so you must know the PDF of z. So since it is a normal distribution, so z is called as the standard normal variate. So whose mean is, what is the mean of the z is, all of you know that mean of z is 0. What is the variance of the z is 1. So based on the mean and variance, you can easily derive the PDF of z. Now, once you have the function of like this way or any of other, how you can find the PDF of this based on the PDF of given function here. How you can find that? So I can tell you the simple rule here. Whatever the relation is here, that's the PDF of u is nothing but the PDF of z, z into dz by du. It means if I say, if I just want to find the if I have the PDF of X, how you can find the PDF of Y is PDF of Y is nothing but the PDF of X into DX by DY. This is the simple rule. Now, for this, how you firstly you have to find the DZ by DU. So since it is given to you that U is nothing but Z square by 2, can you find the value of Z from here? Yes, it is very simple. So it can be written as again like this way. So therefore, what is the value of the dz by du? So this is nothing but this. What is the derivative of this? This is nothing but here. So I can use them. So what will happen? This is nothing but root 2 of u. So I can combine them. It will be here. So now you can substitute the value here. 
so this is since it's a modal sign so plus minus will be discarded so it is here now you can substitute the value of z here so what is that this is nothing but my plus minus of 2u so since f what is the f f is my pdf so, and look at that this function is even function of the z look at that this is a z sketch so this is the even function so if you take plus minus of this so it is nothing but my twice of them so why is a 2 because f of z is even function and if you substitute here what is that this is nothing but 1 by root pi e of z square by 2 what is that z square by 2 is nothing but the u so it is minus of u so look at that now after the calculation what will happen this 2 will be cancelled out so what is the pending is 1 by root pi and here now if you compare them is it the pdf of the gamma distribution what is the gamma function of half this is nothing but the root pi so i can write this function as here minus half i can written like this way so is this the gamma function yes you can compare them this is the pdf of the gamma function look at that if you compare them with here x raised power alpha minus 1 you can see x u raised power alpha minus 1 e raised power minus of x gamma function of x x is greater than 0 so look at that u what is the value of the u is z square by 2 and z square is always with the positive so u is greater than 0 so this is the gamma function so therefore by the uniqueness theorem you can say u that is a z square by 2 or you can say here u follows the gamma distribution with parameter half u is nothing but z square by 2 hence what you conclude that hence what you conclude that if x follows the no normal distribution with parameter this it implies that u that is a z square by 2 follows the gamma distribution of here or in other sense you can say if z follows the normal distribution of 0 1 this implies z square by 2 follows the normal distribution sorry follows the gamma distribution of 0 of with parameter of 1 so remember this results it is very important for their computation examination so that's a very simple proof for there we will see the last lecture on the gamma distribution that next lecture that is a limiting form of the gamma distribution what is the meaning of the limiting form it means what will happen if x follows the normal distribution and what will happen if, if alpha approaches infinity then x follows the normal distribution that is the re re reverse of the today's lecture what we see in that today's lecture is x follows the normal distribution then their standard square of them this follows the gamma while in the next class we will see if x follows the normal distribution then as x follows the gamma distribution then as alpha approaches infinity then it follows the normal distribution that is the next class we will see that till then you can simply follow this link for more updated videos best of luck students happy learning